statistical mechanics or statistical physics is the language that we use for describing what happens when many parts of a system interact with each other and produce some behavior on a human scale. So statistical physics is the language that allows us to understand why it is that when you freeze water, you get ice. When you lower the temperature of water, you get ice, which is a solid, right? If you, if you push on it, um, it the, the whole block of ice moves, where when it's water, if you push on it, then your hand goes through the water, okay? So how is that possible? It's the same atoms, it's the same molecules. In fact, the difference in temperature, uh, although for us as humans, the difference between freezing and not freezing is a big deal, in absolute terms, it's not that big. It's a very small change. So how do we understand that the same molecules interacting with each other can produce these two very different behaviors? For many years, people have hoped that statistical mechanics would also provide us with a language for thinking about the emergence of different macroscopic behaviors in much more complex systems. So we were just talking about neurons. You can zoom down and, and think about what lots of molecules are doing inside a cell. In some cases, the molecules in biology are so big that they really have lots of parts inside of them. And so you can ask, how do those interactions produce the behavior of, of one big molecule instead of lots of little parts? And then there are more ambitious efforts. People have been interested in, in using these same ideas in thinking about social systems. So one system that, that my colleagues and I have worked on is, you know, is this a social system or a biological system? It's, it's a flock of birds. So how is it that all the birds who really only look at their neighbors can agree to all fly in the same direction? Statistical mechanics is the, is the mathematical language that we use for doing that.